a major traffic jam. More than 200 ships are currently waiting to cross the canal. Picture this. More than 200 vessels are waiting in front of the gateway to the world. The Panama Canal, a maritime log jam of historic proportions, all eagerly awaiting their turn to traverse the famed canal. Almost an unthinkable situation, right? The reason behind this is even more mind-blowing. Would you expect these ships to be waiting because of a shortage of water? But this story has many more snags. Yet the prospects grow bleaker still, as the Panama Canal Authority has made the unprecedented move of slashing the number of permitted transits by a staggering 50% in the early months of 2024. This is the reason why the Panama Canal is in serious trouble. In the span of your four-decade career, such a spectacle has never unfolded before your eyes. The ramifications are staggering. Compounding the issue, each ship is now permitted to carry a diminished load, a reduction of 40%. Faced with such constraints, some vessels resort to offloading cargo, resorting to rail transport to ferry goods across the divide. These drastic measures, implemented by the Panama Canal Authority, were spurred by alarming developments concerning a vital artificial lake nestled within Panama's interior. The initial warning sounded as early as July 2023, yet the situation has since spiraled further out of control. Ships languish outside the canal's gates for upwards of three weeks, heralding an economic catastrophe of unprecedented magnitude. The repercussions ripple across the globe, disrupting vital trade arteries precisely when shipping companies in the United States, which funnels 40% of its container traffic through the canal, can least afford it. And yet, the full extent of the crisis remains shrouded, casting a shadow of uncertainty over the canal's future viability. To comprehend the gravity of the situation, one must rewind the clock to France, where the Panama Canal saga finds its origins. Enter Ferdinand de Lesseps, hailed as a visionary engineer following his triumph with the Suez Canal. Buoyed by success, de Lesseps set his sights on a new venture, carving a canal through Panama, similar to Egypt's Suez Canal. However, the realities of Panama's rugged terrain soon shattered illusions of easy success. Dense jungles and rampant tropical diseases posed formidable obstacles, exacerbating construction woes. Within three years, the project's toll in human lives mounted alarmingly, with hundreds perishing monthly, largely from tropical maladies. Meanwhile, costs ballooned, and doubts about the canal's feasibility loomed large. Despite mounting setbacks, de Lesseps painted a rosy picture to placate investors in France. But after eight arduous years and scant progress, financial ruin befell the enterprise. Revelations of rampant corruption, underscored by tales of exorbitant bribes and scandalous misconduct, brought the truth to light. Prominent figures faced lengthy prison terms, though many sentences were eventually overturned, leaving a legacy of deceit and dashed dreams in their wake. The ambition to construct a canal persisted, driven by the allure of facilitating swift maritime passage between distant shores. Consider the journey from Florida to China. A vessel could embark on a 41-day odyssey around Cape Horn, or opt for the expedited route through the Panama Canal, completing the voyage in a mere 35 days. It emerged as the premier conduit for trade between the United States East Coast and East Asia, offering unparalleled efficiency and cost-effectiveness. Before we go further with the story, please take a moment to like this video if you want to know the whole story of the remarkable Panama Canal. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to never miss a video. Now let's go on with the story. In the early 1900s, the United States seized upon this opportunity with fervor. Panama, then a Colombian province, became the focal point of American aspirations. In 1903, negotiations with Colombia faltered over lease terms for canal construction. Undeterred, the United States swiftly pivoted its attention to Panama, where separatists asserted independence from Colombian rule. Swift action ensued, culminating in Panama's newfound sovereignty and the United States' acquisition of canal rights, marked by the purchase of French assets and the commencement of construction. Central to the American vision was the construction of monumental infrastructure, including the world's largest dam, which would harness the flow of a major river, ultimately forming the expansive Gatun Lake. Additionally, a system of locks would elevate ships to the lake's altitude, facilitating passage across the isthmus. Yet, formidable challenges loomed, particularly the imposing mountain range on the Atlantic side, requiring unparalleled feats of engineering prowess. The United States, a titan of industrial innovation, marshaled unprecedented resources and expertise, deploying cutting-edge machinery to carve through the formidable terrain. Steam-powered cranes and colossal rock crushers labored tirelessly, 
relocating millions of cubic meters of earth to realize the vision of a transcontinental passage. Custom steam shovels and track shifters optimized efficiency, underscoring the magnitude of what would become the largest American engineering endeavor to date. By 1914, the Herculean efforts culminated in the completion of the canal, a triumph of human ingenuity. Vessels traversing from the Pacific side first navigated the Miraflores locks, aided by tugboats and the force of gravity, before reaching the expanse of Gotten Lake. The scenic journey afforded panoramic vistas of the Panamanian landscape, a testament to both the engineering marvel and the natural beauty of the region. On the Atlantic side, the process unfolded in reverse, enabling ships of up to 1-200 meters in length to transit. Remarkably, nearly 97% of the world's container fleet could navigate these waters, underscoring the canal's indispensable role in global commerce. For decades, the canal remained under American stewardship until its gradual transfer to Panamanian control, culminating in full sovereignty in 2000. Yet, Amid the awe-inspiring achievements lies a sobering reality. Each transit exacts a toll on the region's freshwater resources. With every passage, approximately 50 million gallons of water dissipate from the lake, equivalent to the annual consumption of 2,000 individuals. The sustainability of this practice hinges on sufficient rainfall, a precarious balance that underscores the canal's inherent vulnerability. In the annals of Panama's history, the year 2023 stands out as an unprecedented milestone. It marked the driest spell ever recorded since meticulous record-keeping commenced in 1950. Typically, November witnesses an average water level of 26 meters in the lakes vital to the Panama Canal's operation. Seasonal fluctuations are customary, with levels ebbing in winter and surging with summer's arrival. However, 2023 defied convention as water levels continued to plummet. By November, they had descended a stark two meters below the five-year average for that month. The scourge of severe drought relentlessly desiccated the lakes, which nourished the canal, pushing water levels perilously low. Consequently, authorities enacted stringent measures, curtailing vessel traffic, exacerbating delays, and swelling the maritime backlog with ships marooned at sea. As mid-November approached, with only two months remaining in the rainy season, the anticipated deluge remained elusive, raising fears of an impending catastrophe. El Nino's ominous influence compounded the crisis, with the Panama Canal Authority sounding the alarm in July 2023. Failure to replenish water levels during the current rainy season portended dire consequences for the ensuing dry season, imperiling both canal operations and the livelihoods of over half of Panama's populace reliant on the lakes for potable water. Consequently, Transit quotas were slashed in July, followed by further reductions in September and November, slated to endure until at least February 2024. Record-breaking droughts, punctuated by historically low water levels, have become distressingly recurrent. Two of the driest El Nino periods in the past century and a half occurred within the last 25 years, underscoring the intensification of climatic extremes. Despite investments exceeding billions in enhanced locks capable of reclaiming 60% of transit water loss, the efficacy of such measures remains uncertain. For shipping conglomerates, the conundrum crystallizes into a costly quandary. With each delay in transit, companies engage in exorbitant bidding wars to expedite passage. Some shell out staggering sums, eclipsing millions, to leapfrog the queue, illustrating the exorbitant toll exacted by the crisis. Such disruptions prompt contemplation of alternative routes, heightening emissions and inflating shipping costs, inevitably borne by consumers. Potential solutions beckon amidst the quagmire. Canal authorities propose the construction of a new reservoir sourced from the Indio River, envisaging the erection of three dams to harness runoff. This initiative, costing an estimated $900 million, would augment water reserves, facilitating an additional 12 to 15 daily transits. However, the venture poses formidable challenges, including the displacement of local residents and requisition of protected lands. In conclusion, the crisis gripping the Panama Canal in 2024 stands as a dire testament to the intersection of environmental vulnerability and global commerce. Record-breaking droughts and historically low water levels have prompted unprecedented measures, including slashing transit quotas by 50%, and exacerbating maritime delays of catastrophic proportions. The ramifications extend far beyond Panama's borders, 
disrupting vital trade arteries and inflating shipping costs, with potential ripple effects on global economies. Only through concerted action can we navigate the turbulent waters ahead and uphold the legacy of human ingenuity embodied by this iconic engineering marvel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button. Also turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss a new video from us. Besides that, leave your thoughts in the comments section.